Hello everybody, Ginger Dragon here with another episode of XCOM 2. Last time we had, an, had a retaliation mission pop up, and this time we're going to go save as many civilians as physically possible. And by that I mean save as many civilians without actually risking the lives of our soldiers as physically possible. Because let's be honest, I'm sure you could save a lot more uh, civilians if you didn't care about the lives of your soldiers. But all these people, not going to die, hopefully. I will state one thing really quickly while I uh, I'll swap around the save uh, the setup here. This is my second try at this retaliation. The first try actually went pretty well, believe it or not. Uh, Peter Osei got wounded for seven days, but everyone else did pretty well. We saved seven civilians. Apparently, seven was the magic number. Uh, the problem was everyone was mute. No one, no one was talking to me. Uh, Bradford wasn't. Tygen wasn't. Lily wasn't. My soldiers weren't. Firebrand wasn't. Nobody was talking. It was actually kind of uncanny. Also left the game hanging for quite a bit every now and then, so... Yeah. Um, we're restarting because I fixed the bug. Turns out it's just a bug that happens when you upgrade to Windows 10. But, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get in there, huh? Let's save some civilians, hopefully, please. Save them all. I'm also sw switching it around because, honestly, the more, I, the more I play with it, the more I realize I don't think the concussion grenade on a grenadier is really that good of an idea. I don't just have more boom. Yes, she's talking! Uh, I already knew I fixed the bug. We, uh, I had a Twitch campaign not too long ago, but, you know. It, it still feels good to hear their voice. I never thought I'd say this, but I missed Bradford yelling at me about civilians. Partly because he was, like, still yelling at me because the game was freezing, but... Like, his portrait wasn't there and he wasn't actually talking. Humanity Falls. Why would you name your thing that? That's a terrible omen! Fuck, we're not gonna save any of these civilians. They deserve to die if they're naming their freaking outpost Humanity Falls. Goodness. Okay, so. Well, fuck me, I liked our last spawn more. <laughs> the spawn on the first attempt at this retaliation was much better. We were on top of a cliff, it was great. Position for deployment on this one. No such looks luck no such luck this time around though it seems. Okay, so we got some civilians. We did we do need to save at least six civilians now. They uh they realized that players didn't really care about saving civilians, so they fixed that. You have to save at least six civilians, which is honestly a really balanced number. It's surprisingly easy, but also really difficult, especially if you waste your time diddling yourself. So uh Peter, why don't you lead the charge? Moving out. Even though we don't start with concealment in this one, because Peter has Phantom, he actually does get concealment. Oh, hey, is that a stun lancer? It is. <laughs> you have to forgive me. I'm getting my, uh, I'm getting my campaigns mixed up. I'm not entirely certain if that was, or if we've already seen stun lancers or not. Uh, we might go on ahead and open up with uh, Coop here. Take out that Advent Trooper while he's out in the open. Then we can move Tally and. Uh, shy guy to engage. Before we do that, though, because the uh, the stun lancer is almost certainly going to charge at us, let's just reorient uh, Peter here. Roger that. This is going to burn his turn. This is what I'm concerned about. Because we can't deal with that stun lancer. Uh, things are gonna get a little spooky here next turn. That being said, because hmm. do bear in mind, we're gonna be keeping Coop out in the open if we do this. And we do have combat protocol. What are your odds against the... It's only 55, right? Yeah, let's definitely not do that one. Really, it is just do we, do we engage here or not. Is there actually a way to, like, sneak... No, you can't sneak to uh, sneak up to that rock. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of positioning here. Let's take it the risky route. As much as I feel like this isn't actually a good idea. Let's just do it. So now we're dedicated. We have to do this. I don't know if the Sun Lancer will actually shoot or not. He still might prioritize his stun. We didn't put anyone on Overwatch because uh, no matter what he does here, he's almost certainly going to take half cover. Yep. Oh no, Peter's in the way. We can't get the flank. You scumbag. But thankfully we can at least get a good angle here. Acknowledged. Yeah, okay, so there's the good angle. Um, let me see here. I'm gonna... This is a terrible spot, just for the record. 
Because it's easily flankable, but right now, uh, Koopa's out in the open, so there's that. Heading out. I'm thinking we might just go for blowing up his cover and then shooting him with Tally, though. Because that's by far the safer option here. I kind of sort of don't want Coop to die. A bit of a waste of a grenade, you could argue, but... Hey. That's a Stun Lancer and an Advent Trooper down. One pod completely wiped off the grid already. I'll take it. Peter still has a grenade and we still have another grenade on the shot, guys. So that's at least two grenades per pod. And ideally, each pod should not last longer than one grenade. Oh dear lord, please don't miss this. Woo! We had combat protocol, but that would not have killed him, that's for certain. And watching would have done no favors there. Okay, sectoid! Ha! You suck! It's a damn shame that due to how this game works, the civilian's probably still gonna die anyway. Yep, there he goes. I really don't like this, honestly. Because, like... The, the aliens kill one, like they can at most... We have to stop this. Radford, I'm trying to talk about civilian casualties, shut up. Let me talk about them, not you. But yeah, uh, as I was saying, at most the aliens can only kill one Civ per turn. But like, if they miss that shot, then another alien can just get them, cause, or can just shoot another civilian. So it's like, it's a bittersweet victory. Like no matter what you, even though that civilian just so happened to miss, the uh... Yeah, you, you're still basically guaranteed a civilian death. Go on, it's like, well, why, why would you even let them miss at that point? You basically have to have, especially later in the game, you basically need three alien misses in order for those civilian misses to mean anything. Got it. It's kind of, it's kind of underwhelming if I'm being completely honest. I'm going. All right, let's just pistol Overwatch. Overwatch. Peter can dash up, I guess, but. I'll just move you over here. Oh boy. No, not this one. He's hiding behind a tree. Oh, here. okay. Never mind. You can take Arnold. That's fine. Still, that sector is close. Uh, but Coop is actually in good cover this time around, so... With luck, we'll be able to see him from here. Sectoid! Sectoid! Ah, he's out of cover too. Excellent. That advent trooper is as good as dead with just about any of our troops. So, you can't see them. What? Why? Is it the tree? Is the tree really blocking that? Oh, come on. That's terrible. Alright, well, we can open fire with Peter here. So let's do that. That's actually a really good odd. Oh, you got Shadow Strike. I forgot we uh, got you up to that level. Okay. Nice! Wow, the crit! I didn't even look at the crit percent. X-ray neutralized. Uh, well, that just leaves one advent trooper. So, you know, that's fun. Oh no, he's running away! Coward! Get back here! I'm on it. No, oh, that wasn't enough to see him. Shit. Uh, we have long watch. We can also we can dash tally up to the full cover, which I'm up. I'm a pretty big fan of that plan, actually, because that'll save this civilian before the Advent Trooper inevitably snipes it. Still, Tally's our medic. Oh, but you can't make it into full cover, so... It would've been nice to, like, say, move someone into full cover and then provide aid protocol, but I just don't think that's possible at this juncture. You're gonna long watch, not even a question about it. Uh, I guess you can just standard overwatch. So if this guy does come forward, he's gonna have to deal with a lot of pain. Still, if we move up that far, he might not have to come forward. He might just take the shot for full cover. And, uh, I don't like those odds. Still, we're Got here it. to save civilians. Let's save civilians. Just by running Damn right it, through what them. Are they doing? They're just standing around, I know, right? Are they a bunch of goofs? Oh, boy. That's a rip. Oh, he reconvened with another pod. Damn. Alright. That's fair. It's probably a good thing we didn't see him then, all things considered. We're losing civilians left and right, Commander. We need to get these people out of here. I take it all back. I wish Bradford never talked. I take everything back. I don't like this civilian. I really don't like this civilian. Look at him, he's doing the funky chicken over here. No civilian does the funky chicken when they're panicking. It's it's uncanny. I'll be right back. 
All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, family was staying over this weekend. Had to go see him off. Now, back to Xenophobia. Okay, so the sectoid, probably two advent troopers inside this building. Um, I'm sure you all are already well aware of this. I just had to remind myself. That was like a, <laughs> a solid seven minutes being away from this game. Uh, I think they were over here by the tree. Uh, the real question is, do I want to move in? Or see if they come to me? Because they might end up coming to me. I also probably want to stay away from that civilian. I got a, I got a real bad feeling about that civilian. And I'm sure if you're coming fresh off of the last episode, you probably remember the Goomin. Yes, they are. They are definitely... Heading out. They are definitely something to be considered. It's one of these two civilians. They have to be the Goomin. Well, I mean, that just about sells it. We're not moving up if uh, Shy Guy doesn't see anything. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm afraid this might reveal... Eh. If Shy Guy doesn't see anything from here, I'm sure Peter will be fine. My main worry is, again, the Goomin. I got, I got a feeling, man. This guy... Whoop. Combat music! Uh-oh. Am I vindicated in my fear? Because I might be. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing we can move Shy Guy or uh, Coop up here. I'm so used to Shy. Again, coming hot off the wheels of the Twitch campaign. It's almost concluded now. But, uh, yeah. So, you'll have to forgive me if I get some of my soldiers mixed up here. Because here's the thing. This tree was blocking line of sight over here. So... I might want to bear that in mind, because that's probably where a lot of them are going to move to. So let's move Shy Guy over here. Er, right, I did it again! Oh. Coop! I'm so sorry, Coop! I'm, I'm so bad! Alright, well, we overwatch. Tally, you are not moving up. Are they going to come? Are they going to come towards us? They might not. They might just stay where they are and shoot. Yeah, that's what I thought. This guy's dead. No, you! Oh, sh goodness, she's been annihilated. There's not even a corpse. Not even ashes. That is extremely unfortunate. Oh, hello. Well, this guy's just phasing through door. Oh, the door opened now. All right. Well. Again, I just I got a feeling about that Civ. I want to try and stay away from him if possible. Let's see if we can move up here. Sure. We are gonna lose this gear more likely than not, unless we can wipe out this squad or this pod. What is that? Two troopers and the sectoid. Oh dear, they actually split up. Those are some really nice splits, actually. Oh dear. Alright, well, let's try and deal with these bottom ones. Looks like we can hit them both with a grenade. Reveal them both. Fire! I'm hoping Peter will be able to throw a grenade up to that advent trooper. If not, then, well, I'll think of a plan B later. For now, plan A is all about killing these good jerks. He's not happy about it. You really can't see anything from here, huh? I don't even know what's blocking line of sight at this point. There shouldn't be anything. Oh, it's the crates this time. As for this guy, I don't even know him anymore. Just, I, I'm guessing that maybe Coop was accidentally blinded. I hope it's worth it. He's wearing his goggles wrong. Oh, hey, there's some contact. Two flashbangs. You don't have a flashbang. You still can't see the sectoid, though. Man, Coop, you're... You were falling off your game today, huh? Let me see here. If we move... Uh, I don't know if we can get a grenade up to that trooper safely. Let's see here. Combat protocol, that is two damage, right? Yeah, two. So, that means we can't kill anything with it. Let's see if you can kill this scumbag, though. Good. Good. Well done. Okay, if we can eliminate this trooper, then one, great, no one's gonna go home wounded. Uh, if we don't, someone's probably gonna get wounded. And, we also get the loot if we can kill this guy. So, uh, Peter, tell me, tell me you've been practicing. I, uh, it looks like it. Someone that, like, hits both these walls, and I was a big fan of that one. Oh, there we go, that, that looks like it's gonna hit. Oh, no, wait, but it's not gonna work, because Goo Man's gonna arrive. So, no, we're not gonna get the loot, but... No one's gonna get wounded, so that's pretty good in my books. Beyond that, that loot's probably just in Lyrian 4. Was I right or was I right? He was just alive for too long, despite being in the thick of it. I don't know. Something about him was just off. Heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm 
guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. Hey! If only we had some means I mean, of containment. <laughs> it's a pistol shot. I, I guess you can intimidate it a little bit. Let's flashbang it. I want to reduce its uh, radius. Its movement Bye. radius, that is. So take it out. Sort of. Stun it. Take it out mentally. That's that's what I meant. So, rip loot. But at least this guy is not going to be of any threat to us whatsoever. His attack is really weird. It's like an AoE, but it's an AoE that can miss. It's very strange. Thankfully, he uh, he shouldn't. Oh my god! Fuck! He's that must have been. That has to be a full dash. Okay, it was. That's what I thought. I should probably say, uh, I did, I meant to say this before the episode, but I got distracted. The, uh, I did also add the stop wasting my time and the, uh, always show, always show shot breakdown mods. Mostly because I, well, I didn't start, the, start those off in the campaign because I wasn't sure how they were going to react with the new update. But I, uh, well, now I've mostly just got it installed because I don't want to have to flick between the two whenever I switch between this and the, uh, Twitch campaign. It's two less mods to worry about, so screw it. They're in this campaign now. Deal with it. It's actually not that bad. It, it speeds up a lot of things. There's less of a hang after soldiers shoot. The gremlins move much faster. And the uh, the Sky Ranger, or the Avenger on the world map also moves faster. As you'll sh see shortly. Uh, I don't want to get the kill here. Probably Grenadier. I like Grenadiers. I probably should actually let the, uh, the sniper get it, but... Oh well. With luck, maybe the Shy up, or maybe a Coop level up anyway. I have no idea. I actually highly doubt it. I don't think he killed anything this mission other than one trooper. Alright! Not bad. Nine! We saved more civilians, and no one got wounded this time. Safe's coming confirmed? Possibly. <laughs> I mean, it technically is. But you have to understand, I loaded because no one was freaking talking to me, not because the, the mission went poorly. I can deal with a seven day wound, that's really not that bad. I can't deal with deafening silence for the entire rest of the game. Alright, coming in! Morale is sure to be high after an operation. Hey, like that. sweet, we got two more level ups. Work, and hey, would you look at that? Coop leveled up anyway, so look at that. I should probably pay more attention to my UI. So Deadeye versus Lightning Hands is a tricky one. I used to take Lightning Hands like no problem whatsoever, because Deadeye incurs a nasty aim penalty, 25%. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I was never a big fan of that. Having uh, having used it later though, in my Twitch campaign, I, uh, I have a Viper on my team who I spec'd almost entirely in the aim. That way the, uh, the Tongue Lash has a better chance of hitting. And uh, the AWC for the Viper ruled Deadeye, it's actually really good. That being said, I'm still probably going to go Lightning Hands, because Lightning Hands is just a nice little extra boost to damage anyway. Sure, they can't it can't be used outside of uh, squad sight range, but every now and again, you're just really happy you have lightning hands. Unlike Deadeye, which just oh god. People who know me know that I hate rolling the RNG. So just get a free shot there. Tally, you get haywire protocol, no questions here. A revival protocol is decent for medics, but haywire protocol is just ace. Especially later. In the, first, in, the, in the initial game, it's actually awful, but hang on. Later, later it'll get better. Much better. It's an investment. A worthwhile investment. It won't just disappear after two seconds of typing on a keyboard. Faceless and Stun Lancer. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Okay, we got mag weapons. We'll see what we do after mag weapons. I might end up trying to go for psionics. I've been using psy soldiers in my Twitch campaign, and holy shit, they are fun. I kind of want to get I, I want to get them earlier in this campaign, but uh, so there's that. But before now, we've never had the resources to investigate the possibility of clandestine advent facilities built up outside the city centers. Now that we've gotten word of this black site, I have to admit. I'm worried about what we might find. They could be doing anything in there. Including making advent burgers. Alright, so we got our supply drop we have to finish off here. Uh, ooh, reduce contact cost. That's really good. Alright, sweet. Uh, where's our supply drop? There it is. Avenger so once we get this, forward. we can start getting, uh, what's it called? Squad size one? Yeah, yeah. Squad size one. I was getting mixed up, because... You know, my mind is just written to think that base is one. 
So it's just like, okay. Ah, uh, I don't care about staff, really. Let's get the reduced contact cost, then we'll try and finish off these supplies up here. Avengers reduced contact cost is real nice, though. Nice on the uh, the intel saving. Basically, it cuts the cost of having uh, of meeting a new uh, contact in half. And Wild Tracks is here. Very good. We have a we have a gunslinger sniper ready to go now. So let's go to GTS. Let's try up another rookie. Probably want to get another grenadier. I'm thinking. Let's get uh, Oliver Wood. Let's get him into a grenadier. What? What are you doing in here? You're not showing up to do anything. There's a whole lot of people hanging out in the cact tactics school, apparently. I almost called it the cactus school. Unfortunately, cacti don't tend to do very good against aliens, so... There's Commander, probably a reason for that. Message coming. Hello, Commander. What's up? It your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on oh boy. this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. So here's our Avatar Project ticker. It's basically the Doom Clock of this game, except it's a lot more lenient and you can play with it quite a bit more. And you can also see the uh, the, the the black operation, dark events that are going on in here. Black operations. I mean, that is a word, black ops. That's a thing. But anyways, that's beside the point. Proving grounds is up and ready to go, which is nice. So proving grounds lets us build all kinds of things, like fun ammo types, even more fun grenade types. And uh, you can also build armor types later if you if you want. I don't know why you would, but you can. It's a choice. So it takes one aluminum core to uh, to get some of these going. Let's get experimental grenade. I think the ammo types are nice, but they don't come in too handy later. And I've had some really bad luck with the ammo types. Unlike grenades, where just about all of them are at least some type of upgrade. So I'll have the team get started those. immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. We'll probably hold on the Skulljack for now, I think. I think. It's 50 supplies. Yeah, let's just grab it. It's nice for our specialists. It increases their hack by 15, I think? Might be 20. Either way, it increases their hacking score. Which is helpful. Even if we don't intend on using it, you can still equip it. Alright, so, grill operations. We can counter resistance informant. Or we can counter rule checkpoints. Honestly, at this stage in the game, I think I want to stop rule checkpoints. We need all the money we can get, and that'll also give us the scientists. Uh, this will give us supplies, which again will be nice, but we still have another supply drop waiting up there. We got a lot of supplies right now, so even though we're just... Ah, then again, we are just about to hit mag tech, aren't we? Hmm. Hang on. Okay, here's the real question. What will net us more money? What's our income? 175 supplies, or... Avenger report, let's see here. Oh, this is just power, isn't it? Hello, Commander. Now go away. Is well underway, but it will be some time yet before my research is complete. 
You know what? We're actually going to get more money if we stop the resistance informant. So, let's do that. Scientists are nice, but... Uh, it's also a, a far more future one, isn't it? Do we have a single scientist yet? Yeah, we have one scientist. And how I am long still are hard we at work on the current research priority, Commander. Honestly, uh, yeah, I think we're fine. The next, the next big one we're gonna want to do, we're gonna like faceless autopsy, sectoid autopsy. These two are gonna, we were gonna want to get, and uh, plated armor. Yeah, we're still seven days out from mag weapons. From but... my own experience, Advent generally Hell. deploys heavy security rather than subterfuge when it comes to protecting their primary facilities. At least the ones. Shut up, Tigan. Sorry, I shouldn't have cut him off like that. But either way, we're gonna go get the supplies. It'll help us more in the long run. We can get our mag weapons a lot faster, and hopefully we'll be able to get our psionics up a bit sooner too. Even though we don't actually have any Illyrium crystals. That's fine. I'm sure we can buy some. Let's go. Setting course for Eastern United States. Little checkpoints we can deal with. Oh boy. So, do we want to bring the same squad or do we want to bring someone else? It's only it's an easy mission, and we just have to hack the hidden resistance computers, so. Let's swap out the med- Oh, right, we don't have the skull jack yet, never mind. I'm thinking we're gonna bring Gunslinger, maybe. Just to train up someone else. We could bring Conrad, as well. With a lot of people here. To potentially use. We could bring Boris. We could bring a second specialist. Actually, that might that might not be a bad idea. We could get another medic going. I kind of want to get our Gunslinger up and running, though, so let's do that. Get our, get our guns a-slinging. He's basically gonna play like an average sniper for the first little bit here, but don't worry. Once we start hitting the, hitting the tarmac with those pistols, we're gonna start seeing shit fly, and it's gonna be great. So we're gonna need a specialist. Phantom Ranger. Let's go. Um, you know, maybe we want to bring Conrad. Do I want a second Ranger? Eh. Let's just, let, let's keep sticking with what we've got. I still want to try and get some soldiers leveled up high enough so we can get squad sight too quickly. Speaking of squad size, speaking of squad size, let's go do that. Let's go do that right now, because then I don't have to don't have to you know worry about it. Boom, done. All right, let's go. For reals this time. So we can bring two snipers, but that seems unnecessary. So instead, this, this time, we're gonna bring Boris, I think. Boris can be our, uh, our medkit toting badass. The pseudo badass. Yeah, let's do it. I don't really... The second ranger could be good, but we are going to want a medic at least at some point in this game, so... Uh, Tally, you wanna stuff that out? We have Tally Frag, give you a medic. Boom. And let's get going. Oh, wait, not yet, not yet. <laughs> let's get going next time. So be sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more, and I will see you all then on Operation Spectral Rhyme. That is a fantastic name.